So you get enough water to cover them. And then you just, I just stir them around a bit. Cause we're gonna, I'm gonna drain the water out and then I'm gonna put more, I'm gonna do it about four times. I'm gonna clean them essentially. So I just use, this is like my stock pot. Whatever comes, whatever comes out is fine. I'm gonna get it back into here so I can get everything clean. So I'm just getting the dirty water out. You don't want to pull the whole thing in there and rinse it, or? Well, I'm gonna rinse it more. Uh, How are you gonna rinse it more? Yeah, and I guess they probably all would have fit into the strainer. This is what I do, because I usually do enough for like 10 jars, so I have to do it all separately, because the strainer won't hold it all. Got it. So then I'm just, I literally will just so, rinse them again. So I do that about four times. Four it, times you rinse that. Yeah, because there's so much sediment and stuff. So you're just trying to get all the excess so, out. And this what, is important that Chris needs to know that yeah, 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 you have yeah. to really rinse the shit yeah, out of these drinks. Because getting all the sediment out is just going to help remove stuff that contaminants can attach to. Okay. Because they want sugars. Just like any organism, they want just like sugars to feed off of. Yeah. So all the excess sediment, if it gets in the jar, it just leaves leaves opportunity for contaminants okay. too. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this now. We're gonna do this a couple more times. Yep. 